You can see straight through my life Oh, there's something in my chest that I can't hide When feelings get involved, I'm terrified No matter what they try, I'll stay by your side It's you and I To today's vlog we are hiking pickle jar lakes i was gonna say pickle jar mountain but we're hiking the lakes today we were supposed to go to mount jimmy simpson and do jimmy simpson jr or iceberg lake but unfortunately there is a fire in jasper right now so it's very smoky it's not as smoky here in k country we are in the highwood pass right now so we're really high up and it seems to be somewhat clear today so i'm very excited to do this one again it's been quite a few years and i didn't get to the third lake there's three lakes total of this one so this one is around 10 to 11k with a 600 ish meter elevation gain so i'll update you guys further along the trail terrified because i've been here before and said goodbye oh i You the one when I try look, I wish I'd find Oh, I, I, I How can I love when I've been hurt a hundred times? For you I give it one more chance Bury my head deep within the crowd But I'm reaching for your hand to pull me out Oh, I, I Are you the one when I try to look I wish I'd find so just a quick little trail update. We are 3.31K into the hike. There is beautiful meadows here with wildflowers this time of year. The only thing is there's tons and tons of horse flies and the bug spray that I have doesn't really work with them. They are legit everywhere and they're starting to bite. So make sure when you do this hike, take bug spray with you. Just be mindful, there's tons of horse flies. So we are almost at, I think, see, they're like, they're like everywhere. <laughs> uh, we are almost to the top of where we're supposed to be before we descend into the lakes. So I think we should get there in the next little bit here. We've been at it for one hour and 54 minutes. It's also been super hot today. There's a lot of tree cover on this one during the beginning, but then it opens up to the meadows and you're exposed to the sun for a bit of it. There is a nice breeze in the air though. So I think it's been a great day for this, to be honest. So I'll see you guys further along the trail. Oh, I, 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 how can I love when I've been hurt a hundred times?
I'm hoping that this sound is going to be okay because I lost the foamy thing to my mic back there. I've been just having mic issues for the past, I don't know how long, but we've made it to the first lake. This is just a great viewpoint to take photos at, to be honest. Like it's really beautiful. And the first lake is over there. This is actually a 50 meter descent down into the lake area. And then we have the second and third lakes as well. So we're just gonna stop here for a few photos and then head down there. So I'll show you guys the lakes when we get there. third lake at pickle jar this one is the last one that i made it to the last time i was here so we are going to keep going the next lake is just behind us right there super close we'll probably take about five to ten minutes to get there nothing super crazy but i think i've heard that that one is the prettiest lake so we'll see i do really love this one i think it's so beautiful and that rock over there is where we took our photos and i think it's worth it if you just climb over some rocks so to get to the spot here it is 4.9 k exactly on the hike so to get to the next lake we're about 100 meters away to make this exactly five kilometers so i'll see you guys at the next lake
don't you think we're done? Don't you think we're done? Welcome to my after hike summary for Pickle Jar Lakes. So I was finally able to do this one again. I did this one back during COVID back in 2020. And this was one of the longest hikes that I've ever done at that point in time. This, like I just, I can't believe how far I've come in the past four years. It's a little bit crazy because this one doesn't even seem long anymore at all. This seems just like an average like an average hike because I'm used to doing such long ones now. I think my average, I would say is like 15K and that's like a good hike to me. I love, love, love the long hikes. Like I like going the 20, 30Ks in a day. Like it just makes you feel so accomplished. Like you've actually done something. Anyways, so Pickle Jar Lakes, the first time I did this hike, I didn't even go to the very last lake. This one features four lakes, but I went with a group and I think they were done after the third lake, so we didn't go to the fourth one, but I was happy to be able to finish it this time and I was happy to do it, you know, again, like four years later. This was a, like this was something that I did want to do this year, but the day that I did it, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to do Jimmy Simpson but unfortunately when I decided to do this hike this was when the Jasper fires were in like full like it was bad the smoke conditions in Calgary were really bad and I was really worried about going to the mountains during that time and especially going all the way to Jimmy Simpson which is on the 93 which is on the way to Jasper I didn't even think that the highway would be open and I didn't want to drive all the way over there so I decided you know pick something around the Highwood Pass and this was something that I wanted to do so I finally checked it off my list. I finally finished the Pickle Jar Lakes Trail. So this one was 11k total with an elevation gain of 646 meters making this one I would say moderate. I don't think that this one was very hard or technical or anything like that. Definitely if you can do long hikes if you are a beginner and you can do a little bit of a longer hike if you've done up to 10k you'll be fine with this one this is a really really good one this isn't something like Galatea Lakes where it's quite a bit longer I also need to repeat Galatea Lakes because I didn't go all the way to where I wanted to go the last time either I actually want to do Gwyn's Pass and Ribbon Falls as well so that'll be a different day I'm hoping soon before summer ends hopefully it's really hard to kind of plan my hikes in the summertime because at the same time like I do love these lake hikes but I also want to do the peaks while they are safe and doable so yeah this one it just so happened to work out on a day that it was super smoky in the city and I was like a lake hike is gonna be perfect I don't want to do any peaks and go to the top and have no view or anything like that because I've already had that twice this year so I decided on pickle jar lakes and this one is pretty gradual in the beginning takes you up through tons of wildflowers. There's tons of wildflowers on this one. I think that this trail is such an underrated one for wildflowers. No one really talks about it. A lot of people mostly talk about Healy Pass for wildflowers, Sunshine Meadows and all of that, but not a lot of people talk about this one. This one has tons of wildflowers and it almost looks like you're in Switzerland or something. 
you just have endless wildflowers and then you continue on up you do climb quite a bit up it does get steep in some sections but it's completely doable it's kind of just like hills pretty much you just go up a hill and then it flattens out for a bit you go up another hill flattens out a bit and it's kind of like switchbacky near the end once your elevation gain is completely done then you know that you're gonna be able to descend into the lakes i think it's like a 50 meter decline in your elevation but you you have to descend from that elevation gain to the lakes so you start with pickle jar lake one which is really really beautiful this is where a lot of people go fishing you can't actually keep the fish here but there is a beautiful beautiful lake it's very clear and nice pickle jar lake two eh, it's not my favorite lake it's kind of like a little muddy and not that pretty there's also lots of flies there so i would if you want to skip that one if you had to skip one of the four lakes i would say it would be pickle jar lake too but you kind of have to pass through that way if you continue along the right path up to the third lake the third lake is my favorite the third lake is amazing you can definitely go swimming there if that's what you want to do i was going to i even brought a swimsuit but i didn't end up going swimming we just spent a lot of time taking photos and eating and stuff there and filming all of that stuff so i didn't really have time to do that now to get to the fourth lake I will say that the terrain changes quite a bit. It gets rockier. So in order to get to the third lake, you do have to kind of cross a boulder field, but to get to the fourth lake, it kind of just gets really rocky. That's all, that's something to know. I wouldn't classify this as a scramble. You're not gonna be scrambling up any mountains to get to the fourth lake, but it does get pretty rocky up until the fourth lake. The fourth lake again was not my favorite. It kind of looked a little bit muddy. It was still like a really pretty color. It was green in some sections. It kind of looked almost like a pickle. So I was like, okay, maybe that's why they named it Pickle Jar Lakes. We did see a grizzly on the side of the highway on the way back. So I slowed down and took a quick video of it on the way by. But yeah, that was my experience with Pickle Jar Lakes Trail. It is a good one if you are in the Highwood Pass area or if you are looking for somewhat of a longer, more moderate hike, this is a really great one and you get to see four lakes. So it's a lot of views for, you know, just one hike. So yeah, that is all for this video. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye. I let you deeper than I deeper than you